Welcome to the Georgian Theatre Royal, a theatre which holds the distinction of being Britain's oldest working theatre in its original form. The theatre was built in 1788 by actor-manager Samuel Butler and today still hosts a variety of professional and amateur performances. Now, let's step back 200 years and look inside. 1788, the theatre held 400 people. Today it's 214. Then it was wall-to-wall -wall benches. We had no cushions, we had no backs and we had no handrails and it would cost you one shilling to sit in the gallery. They'd bring their food, they'd bring their beer, they'd chatter among themselves, and when the show actually started, what they hadn't eaten, they would throw as missiles. So from here, we go inside the boxes. Right, here we are in the boxes. These were the most expensive seats, charged at three shillings each. Having sat in these seats and paid three shillings for the privilege, you would expect to have the best of everything, but you would have been better off upstairs. There were no toilets, and so urine would have been dripping down through the ceiling onto the people sitting in the boxes. So it would have been extremely unpleasant. Hello, come in and welcome to the pit. The benches were wall to wall. And if when you came in by the door that we came in by, the only seat available was in the far corner, there was only one way to get to it climb over the people who deigned to get here before you did. And when you're going on the full tour with us, we'll try to build up that feel of history, that sense of history, and sometimes almost literally, that smell of history. Here we have the counterweighted mechanism for hurtling actors onto the stage tr through one of the trapdoors. There's another trapdoor there, which is accessed using a ladder, and the coffin trapdoor at the rear for raising and lowering bodies. So the actor manager and his company of 20 or 30 players would actually be living in this area for up to 60 days when the York Militia were in town in the September season. Um, no running water, no electric lighting and just a fire here for cooking and heating purposes. There are lots of interesting things to see in our museum, but our key exhibit is this wonderful woodland scene, which is believed to be the oldest hand-painted scenery in the country. There's also a lot to see in the exhibition area. Costumes, props, you can even hear how the Georgians did their sound effects on stage, and learn about the Shakespearean actor of his age, Edmund Keane. What you've seen here is just a fraction of what we have to offer at the Georgian Theatre Experience. Come along, learn and have some fun.